You know, it is tax day. I'm going to move the conversation in a different direction right now before we take a break and open up the phone lines for your calls. But today is tax day, and Market Watch released this article, Americans Get an F on Income Tax Quiz. Well, this doesn't shock me at all. You go throughout your entire educational life, all the schools, at least if they're run by the government, guess what they never teach you? How to file your taxes. That's right. They never teach you how to file your taxes. They never show you how taxes work, tax brackets, none of that. And But magically, you're supposed to know how to do it and ignore it when Lois Lerner's IRS targets you. You know, and I think uh, Liz Wheeler, who tweeted this out, put it into uh, quite a picture here. Gettysburg Address, 269 words. Declaration of Independence, 1,337 words. Bible, 773,000 words. Tax law, 7 million words. Yes, that is probably a major issue why most Americans have no idea what to do with their taxes. And then what do we get from our government? Um, Munchen warns of tax reform delay following the health care setback. So if you buy that, that's what they're telling you. They can't do tax reform. You know, Roger, this is another major one that I think that Trump, to me, where I stand, I'm, I'm, I'm iffy on his foreign policy. I'm going to wait and see. Um, I think it could go either way at this point. Domestic policy, Trump is absolutely kicking ass. I don't think that that is even debatable. But this is one to me that Donald Trump needs to win. He needs tax reform. He needs it quick. And this, to me, is just another major feather that he could put in his cap for 2020. Who really doesn't want tax reform? Even a Democrat who might be a never Trumper, once they get their taxes back and they see their tax less, or just in general, in their income taxes, their tax less, they don't have to pay the Cadillac tax and the health care. They don't have to pay the death tax. I think everybody gets by that. Uh, look, I agree with you. I'm very concerned about... Uh the signals coming out of Mr. Mnuchin. Our Treasury Secretary is a liberal Democrat. Uh, he was a personal friend of Donald Trump, uh, and he was a high-level official at Goldman. He worked for George Soros. He has put in charge uh, a number two man at the department, a fellow named Craig Phillips, who boasts that he would have had this job whether Hillary Clinton won or whether Donald Trump won. That's concerning. And I agree with you. Tax reform is the engine to move the whole Trump revolution. Economic growth is the key to Trump's ultimate success. A rising tide lifts all boats, and there is nothing more important than the corporate tax cut, the overall tax cut in the John Kennedy, Ronald Reagan uh, uh, you know, form, uh, an across-the-board tax cut for everyone. Trump's plan for inversion, bringing back trillions offshore and taxing it fairly in this country, putting the money back to work. That should not be deterred or slowed down by the failure on health care. It just it makes no sense. Donald Trump does not suffer when he tries and fails. He only suffers when he stops trying, whether it's the travel ban, whether it's Obamacare and hopefully an upcoming economic package. The, the key to success is perseverance, is to keep fighting. There's going to be setbacks. We have a 30-year political institution fighting everything we're trying to do. They're entrenched, and they have friends in the mainstream media who share their out-of-the-mainstream views. So no one ever thought that we were going to roll into town, and in the first 100 days we were going to solve every problem the country had and make America great again. That was never a realistic expectation. Well, I think some of our supporters thought so. Uh, at the end of the day, it's about sticking to the agenda. It's about not getting your head turned by the inside the beltway political establishment, some of whom are now pretending to be our friends who aren't, uh, and not to be told repeatedly, oh, you can't do that. It's too sweeping. It's too broad. You can't do that. I don't think the people who are trying this understand Donald Trump. I think those who who seek to be puppeteers are going to be surprised that he is no puppet, that he will be no man's puppet, uh, and that in the end, he's going to end up delivering on most of his agenda. In the meantime, we're in for a horrific fight to get it done, and I don't think the president is served well by people like 
Secretary Mnuchin or Mr. Phillips, who, looking at the fact that we lost the last fight, don't want to engage in another one. That's the wrong instinct. Because we lost the last fight, we need to double down and fight twice as hard in the next fight. That's the Trump philosophy. He is, above all, a fighter. That's the most important aspect of his personality, that he is resilient. This is a man who came back from the absolute precipice of financial disaster, personal financial disaster, a billionaire who came this close to crashing. And he came back bigger, richer, more successful than ever. He can do that for the country. There's no doubt about that, but he needs our support to do it. And he needs, as I said earlier, he needs a free alternative media. He needs Infowars.com and Breitbart and Daily Caller and Town Hall and all the other pro-liberty outlets. That's why I still go back to the fact that the fight over a free and unencumbered internet is the key to all of our success. So Trump did release a tax plan at DonaldJTrump.com. It was detailed. It was short but sweet. It was great. I showed that to many of my family and friends, and they were like, wow, they didn't even like Trump, but they read that tax plan, and they gave it the big thumbs up. I had people on the streets telling me no such thing exists. I directed them to the website. They looked at it. I'm just curious. Do you have any intel or do you know? Where does tax reform sit on the priorities of Donald Trump? Is it something that's constantly bugging him? He's constantly itching the back of his neck. It's constantly there. Or is it something he's kind of filed away and he is dealing with other priorities? I, I think he equates tax reform with economic growth. The plan you refer to was written by uh, Larry Kudlow and Steve Moore and Steve Forbes. These guys understand growth economics. I think that that plan is meeting some resistance at the Treasury Department. I think at the end of the day, Donald Trump wants a Trump boom. He wants an American economic boom. 